Hey everyone, you're watching Now You Know and here's your news this week. Britain's first and only female Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, more commonly known as the Iron Lady, has died. Her children said she passed away following a stroke on Monday, aged 87. Margaret Thatcher dominated a generation of British politics and was seen by some as a controversial leader. While many mourn her loss, several hundreds took to the streets to celebrate her death, blaming her policies for the crisis Britain is facing today. A mugshot of a female convict has gone viral, prompting declarations of love and even even marriage proposals from all over the world. Megan Simmons was arrested for drunk driving back in 2010. Now, for some reason, her mugshot only got on sharing website Reddit three years later. She has inspired memes with captions like, guilty of taking my breath away, and arrested for breaking and entering your heart. Now, Megan said she has blocked many users on Twitter after receiving sleazy messages from men. And of course, you can't help these men. Men will always be sleazy. Why is your mugshot so nice? Megan, I like to see your happy, horny face. Because if that is your convict face, you know, guys will always have some sort of fantasy, you know, because you're in jail and I'm the sheriff. <laughs> you know, pick up my gun. How badly do you want to be free? Sorry. Last Thursday, Facebook unveiled the new Facebook Home for Android. It is a Facebook-modified Android OS that allows users to get updates from their Facebook friends without having to unlock their phones or launch any apps. Facebook Home also allows users to comment and like posts right from their home screen. Facebook Home phones will be available on the HTC One and One X as well as the Samsung Galaxy S3, S4 and Note 2. Sales are set to start mid-April but in a limited capacity. Customers at a market in Argentina have been forking out hundreds of dollars for pedigree toy poodles only to discover they were actually fluffed up ferrets on steroids. One man bought what he thought were toy poodles sold at a bargain price, but when he brought them to the vet, it turned out they were actually two ferrets that had been pumped with steroids at birth to make them larger. They also had extra grooming to make their coats resemble the dog. Toy poodles typically cost at least $1,000, while a ferret only costs $75. Now, the things people will do is to make a buck. Come on, man, that's kind of cruel. Pumping like ferrets full of steroids. You know? Ferrets, you know, they're all cute and stuff. Come on. Recently, celebrities like Heidi Klum and Demi Lovato have been flaunting their makeup-free faces either for charity or to encourage fans to be comfortable in their own skin. Now, the latest celeb to go barefaced is Barbie. That's right, folks. Barbie, as in Barbie doll. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Ah, ah, ah. That Barbie. The image of Barbie without makeup went viral after graphic designer Eddie Aguirre posted it on his online gallery. In the photo, Eddie stripped off Barbie's makeup, tinged her teeth yellow, took off her false eyelashes, and let her roots grow out, revealing what he calls the real doll, or what Singaporeans call just a normal woman. <gasps> Snap! All oh, the ladies are gonna get so angry, but like, what? What do you mean by that? Don, you're an asshole. I am. I'm sorry, ladies. You know I love you. You know, yellow teeth and roots that grow out and all. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Three words she wants to hear was trending on Twitter this week, and here are some that are pretty spot on. Let's go shopping. I can cook. You were right. As for me, the three words that she always wants to hear is when she says, is that it? Then I'm always prompted to go, that's not it. That's not it. Just give me half an hour. <coughs> That's not it, I swear. <coughs> Thanks for tuning in. Remember to look us up on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, I'll leave you with the most watched video in the universe this week, according to us. This week's video is a compilation of girls singing to the Kiyomi song sung by indie Korean singer Hari. Now the craze started when K-pop idol Jung Il Hoon of BTOB created a series of hand actions to accompany the song. It caught on and soon everyone was doing their own versions online. Now what's wrong with all these people 
that are like doing all these kind of like act cute stuff and there have been a lot of people that have gone on to like my Facebook page and Twitter to kind of like Don you should totally do this and then I saw this and I'm like why would I want to do something that's so act cute? I mean that's really just really not me right? I mean I'm just not one of those that would participate in something like that. Oops. 